Hi everyone, welcome to Clara's Feng Shui Cafe. In today's video, I will talk about how to change your house's Feng Shui period. According to the three cycles and nine periods, each period has 20 years. To determine what period your house belongs to, you need to check your house's date of completion. For example, if your house was built in 2021, then it is a period 8 house because it was between 2004 to 2023. If your house was built in the year 2001, then it is a period 7 house because it falls between 1984 to 2003. As period 9 is coming soon in 2024, our house's feng shui will also change. To make sure that our house continue to attract good luck and good fortune in period 9, then we need to feng shui our house and change our house's feng shui period if needed. Here is an example of an auspicious house in period 8. The house is sitting chow and facing wei. In period 8, this house layout is considered one of the best because of wang shan wang xiang, meaning we have auspicious stars in both the sitting and facing directions. In period 8, the number 8 star is the ruling star and the most auspicious star. When we move into period 9 in 2024, number 9 star will become the ruling star and the most auspicious star. This means that the direction of the most auspicious star will change. In period 9, the positive energy of the number 9 star will become stronger, while the positive energy of the number 8 star will become weaker because we are no longer in period 8 at that time. Therefore, our house's wealth sector will also change. No matter whether your house is auspicious or not in period 8, when period 9 arrives, the positions of the auspicious stars will change. To feng shui our house in period 9, there are three different options. To ensure our house continue attracting wealth energy in period 9. Number 1. Change the location of your front entrance to the sector where the number 9 facing star is located. This will allow the wealth energy of the number 9 star flow into our house. However, if you are not able to change the direction of your front entrance, you can demolish and rebuild your house in period 9. Once the rebuild has completed, then the newly built house is considered a period 9 house. Rebuilding a house is a huge project and requires lots of time and money. There is another method we can use to achieve the same effect. That is, changing the ceiling and roof of your house in period 9, while keep other parts unchanged. In feng shui, we call this huan tian xing, meaning replacing heaven's heart. There's no need to change all of the roof. Just change the ceiling and the roof above the house's center. When the roof of a house has changed, its feng shui will also change. So no matter what year your house was constructed, once you change the roof, the house period will also change. For example, if the house was built in 1972, which belongs to period 6, but when we change the roof in 2025, the house will then belong to period 9. When analyzing a house's feng shui, we consider the house as a period 9 house. There are three important requirements about changing the roof that we need to remember. First of all, to change the roof, we need to consult a feng shui master to choose an auspicious day based on the zodiac animal signs of our family members. Changing the roof on an auspicious day can further enhance good fortune and good luck to the people who will be living in the house. The second thing to remember is that the day you plan to change the roof has to be on a sunny day in order to let the sunshine enter the center of your house. In feng shui, this is known as wang tian xing, meaning enhancing heaven's heart. 
it's also important that the house need to be exposed to sunlight. The amount of time the house is exposed to sunlight should be either three days, five days, seven days, nine days, or forty-nine days, because all of these numbers belong to Yang energy. By exposing the house under the sun signifies the rebirth of the house in period nine. These feng shui rules and principles can help us changing the feng shui of our house in period nine, but this is not enough. We also need to calculate the sitting and the facing directions of the house to ensure that the next period, which is period nine, can bring us good luck and good fortune. I hope you find my video helpful. If you like my video, please give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.